Hello, in this video we're going to find the critical numbers, if any, of the function f of x equals 1 over x. This is a pretty simple problem, but there's a lot of thought that goes into it. So let's go ahead and carefully work through it. Solution. But first you have to know what in the world is a critical number. So critical numbers are numbers in the domain of the function, meaning that you can plug them into the function and everything makes sense where the derivative of the function is zero or undefined. Again, critical numbers are numbers in the domain of the function where the derivative is zero or undefined. In this particular case, um, the only possible issue in the domain is gonna be zero, right? X can't be zero because zero is not in the domain of f of x. Well, let's take the derivative and investigate what happens. So before we take the derivative, because we have a fraction and there's a, numer there's a number in the numerator, we can bring this upstairs. And when you do that, the exponent on the x becomes negative. So this is x to the negative one. So we're just rewriting it in a way that's going to allow us to use the power rule from calculus to differentiate. So we take the derivative, so f prime of x, and the power rule basically says that you take this negative one and you bring it down, you put it in the front like this. It's negative x. And then you subtract one from the exponent. So negative one minus one is negative two. Okay, and we set this equal to zero. Let's go ahead and rewrite this. So we have f prime of x, and that's going to be equal to negative one over x squared. And we're setting this equal to zero. So let's investigate here. Is this undefined? It is. This is undefined at x equals zero, right? Because you can't plug in zero here because you get negative one over zero squared, which is negative one over zero, and you can't have zero on the bottom. So zero is a potential critical number. Recall that critical numbers are numbers in the domain of the original function where the derivative is zero or undefined. So here we have a number where the derivative is undefined, but not in the domain of the original function, because if you try to plug in zero into the original function, you get f of zero, which is one over zero, and then everything is over, game over, it does not work. You cannot have zero on the bottom. So zero is not a critical number. So we have a derivative equal to zero. So let's try to solve this equation. We have negative one over x squared equal to zero. If you were to try to solve this, you could multiply both sides by x squared. Okay, put an x squared on the left-hand side, put an x squared on the right-hand side, cancel, you get negative one equals zero times x squared is zero. Well, that doesn't make sense either. That's a contradiction. This fun little symbol here means contradiction. Um, so there's no solution there. So there's no critical numbers, right? There's no critical numbers in this particular example. So it's a really simple problem mathematically, but in terms of like understanding the definition of critical numbers, it's beautiful, right? Because remember, critical numbers are numbers in the domain of the original function where the derivative is zero or it's undefined. We took the derivative of this function. We investigated to find out when it's undefined. It's undefined at zero, but zero is not a critical number because it's not in the domain of the original function. You can't plug it back into the original. Then we set it equal to zero, we solved, and we didn't get any, any, any candidates from this case. So we found no critical numbers in this particular problem. So just a random example I thought I would do because this is an example that sometimes actually uh, confuses people because it's so simple, um, but that's why there's no critical numbers. Hopefully this has helped someone out there in the world who is learning the beautiful subject of mathematics. I hope it's been helpful. Good luck.